guys. Well, let's get right into it. Jay Opatia and Ellie Scottney now have confirmed opponents and a location for their upcoming title defenses. Matchroom Boxing confirmed a previous report of a September 30th The Zone show that will feature both boxers who will both make the first defense of their respective crowns. Australia's Opataya will defend the lineal and IBF Cruiserweight Championship versus England's Jordan Thompson in the main event, while Scottney will put her IBF Junior Featherweight title on the line versus Argentina's Laura Soldad Griffin. Both bouts are part of a recently announced show that will air live from the OVO Arena in Wembley. A huge world title double headliner at the OVO Arena Wembley on September 30th, top by IBF Cruiserweight King Jay Opatia defending his crown against Manchester's Jordan Thompson and Catford's Ellie Scottney putting her IBF Super Bantamweight crown on the line against Laura Soldat, said Matchroom Sports Chairman Eddie Hearn. Opatia, 22 wins, 0 losses, 17 by way of knockout fights for the first time since his thrilling 12-round points win over three-time champion Marius Breedis last July 2nd at Broad Beach, Australia. The unbeaten champ, who was the youngest boxer ever to represent Australia in the Olympic Games during the 2012 London Games, suffered a fractured jaw in the fight and also subsequently underwent shoulder surgery earlier this year. The rest of the downtime has been spent watching a trio of mandatory challengers step aside for various reasons. Open quote, I have been waiting too long for someone to challenge me and now we finally have a fight, said Opatai. Thank you, Jordan, for stepping up, but I also hope you are ready, close quote. Masternick and Reactor both passed on the chance to fight for the crown. Breedis agreed to stand down and allow voluntary defense with the promise of getting dibs at the winner. That opened the door for the six foot seven Thompson, who's 15 wins, zero losses, 12 by way of knockout, to answer the call for his first title challenge. Open quote. Opatia is the recognized number one in the division and the best guy out there and that's why he's the one I want, said Thompson, a Manchester born and bred contender who now lives and trains in London. This is my time now and the world will see that on September 30th. I ain't never been one to just take part. I'm a winner. I'm going to win, close quote. The evening's second fight will see Scottney, seven wins, zero losses, zero knockouts, return to the venue where she won her crown. The charismatic 25-year-old from the Catford District of London outpointed Trinika Johnson over 10 rounds to lift the IBF strap on June 10th at this very location. The upcoming bout versus Griffa, 20 wins, eight losses, one by way of knockout will mark her third straight fight and fourth overall at OVO Arena Wembley. Open quote, winning a world title is every fighter's dream, but now I want more. I want to prove myself the best super bantamweight in the world, but a true champion also has to be willing to defend her title. I wanted to stay active and getting to defend the belt in the same venue I was crowned world champion gives me the ideal opportunity to show that there are levels to the sport on September 30th. I will show just that, close quote. Griffa enters her second career title fight. The Argentine boxer dropped an August 2018 decision to then IBF titleist Marcella Acuna. She rebounded with a pair of wins before a six fight losing streak that included a repeat defeat to Acuna. Belt, open quote. I'm very excited to be fighting for the world title for a second time, said Griffa. Ellie Scottney is a very good and skillful boxer, but she doesn't have the heart and toughness that I do. I'm a true warrior and I will bring war to London September. I will bring her down, bring the world title back home to Argentina, close quote. Also on the card, Chevron Clark, six wins, zero losses, five by way of knockout, faces Vasil Dukar, who's 14 wins, six losses, two draws, 10 by way of knockout in a regional cruiserweight title fight. Also on the bill, Rhiannon Dixon, eight wins, zero losses, one by way of knockout, meets Norway's former title challenger, Katharina Thanders, 16 wins, one loss, two knockouts for the vacant EBU European lightweight title. 
middleweight prospect George Ladard for wins, zero losses, three by way of knockout. Rising flyweight Maisie Rose Courtney, whose four wins, zero losses, have a quick turnaround after picking up wins on the Joshua versus Hellenius undercard at the O2 in London earlier this month. Also, Watford Jr. bantamweight Shannon Ryan, five wins, zero losses, fights for the sixth time as a pro. And Tony Sims trained middleweight Jimmy Sains makes his professional debut. Guys, what do you think about this card and how it's looking? Hey guys, well, let us know what you think about how this card is shaping out to be. Um, which out of the, all those fights are you looking forward to seeing? We actually are looking forward to seeing Obatai in the ring. We want to see if his jaw is going to affect him, if his shoulder is going to affect him, or if he's going to come out like a uh, like a like a beast, which we also do expect. Um, so, high hopes for Obatai and. Uh, yeah, let us know, guys, what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate you guys. Take care.